Bristol and also the hub to do an event with Operation Disabled Vote. The Easy Read leaflets just make it um, more accessible to people that might struggle with smaller writing. I think voting is absolutely essential if uh, disabled people or indeed anybody wants to have their voice and, and have their voice heard. And I was one of the very first people to get the vote, the vote at age 18. Um, and since then I've voted in every election bar one when I was in intensive care in hospital and unable to vote. I believe it is a duty. We, we, you know, we, we, we can't complain about a government if we don't put in our effort to elect it. No vote, no voice. And, and you're going to register today? Yeah. Um, Hopefully. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you a form. I can't get on buses. Right, OK. Because the bus is not as there's a that bus is. Shall we try, Lisa? What do you think? You want to give a it a bit go? scary, isn't it? No, it's, no. it's completely up to you. <laughs> People with learning difficulties. Okay. Give them a voice to speak out. Do you think it's important for people to vote? Yeah. Yeah, but I do in my job. Yeah. Help people with learning difficulties have a job. I have a voice. That's one reason we're here today, is to make sure that people can vote and can check that they are entitled to vote, um, having been registered. It's the most important part of our democracy. One man, one vote. It doesn't matter who you are, you're entitled to vote, and I believe you should vote. And we've all got shared interests in, in making sure that we are on the voting register and we can put our vote in the ballot box on the appropriate day. I'm on the land of birth! Have you changed your name in the last 12 months? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I think after this we'll kind of like stick around for 15 minutes. Thank you very much. Mm. And I've been on this bus for <laughs> the whole tour. <laughs> so Lisa, I'm actually really tired. Well, I've been on the bus. Yeah, you're going to be a celebrity. Oh my god, in the making. It's Where is really you coffee. going now then? Well, first we're going to Bristol City Centre. We're going to the Central Promenade. Yeah. And then we're going to Cardiff. <laughs> we were just up in Lockleys, up in North words. Bristol, um, met some really nice people. Fantastic uh, lady, Lisa, came and gave, said some amazing stuff about, you know, as a person with learning difficulties, how important it is for her. She registered. <laughs> There you go. I support you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is what's been at the back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Disabled people are in every community going, so we were really keen to work with the, your group. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> That's <Ta -da>. it. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> no boat, no boy, voice. She was just um, an inspiration, she was just really cool, wanted to be involved, did get involved, came on our bus, registered to vote, and that's the voice that's going to be heard now in the general election. The fact that the mountain is moving around just encourages everybody to get out and make sure that they are registered. And actually, it's a pleasure to do it. No vote, no voice. They will speak for you. Don't let them do it. Use your vote. People lost their lives, people were deported in order to get you a vote. You have to use it. Sorry. <laughs> You don't vote you don't have a voice it's, it, it's something we strongly believe and it's your right to choose who you vote for you know we're not no one's out here to tell anyone who, who, who to vote for no vote no voice it needs to be like this sort of thing all over the place so you get a load of apathetic people and it's a bit it wipes out a big demographic so that's why it is still important yeah obviously that we do vote no vote no voice so having this on your doorstep like you know sitting right outside my office you know what there it is i'm gonna go i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna i'm gonna vote this year the whole thing about being here was to be here in particular when people are on their lunch break as well too sure how to actually 
go ahead and register to do that vote. Mm. So, so to see this, like sitting right there on the street. No vote, no voice. We came here to Bristol today to make sure that everyone realises how important it is to vote, that they use their votes and get their voices heard on the 7th of May. But particularly, we wanted to make sure that disabled people are included within that. And in order to get politicians to think about the impact of their policies on disabled people, to start to prioritise the issues that are important to us, we're saying to disabled people, you need to get out there and vote. You need to make disabled voter power something that is uh, on the map. No vote, no voice.